Hi guys, we have previously installed a couple of dash cams in uh, 2020 Volvo XC40. As you can see here, we had the uh, Garmin dash cam mini, which is a great little dash cam, but it's uh, limitation, it only records in full HD. Uh, later, we did the custom installation of the Vivo for A139 dash cam right here underneath the black box which actually worked very well in our opinion uh, the dash cam records great video and uh, it records in 2k resolution uh, the only small issue that we had is that it was uh, capturing part of the black box in its video image and today we actually show you guys another great product which was specifically designed for this vehicle the dash cam is called Fit Cam X. Let's see what we have inside the box. Right here we have the 2K front dash camera. This is how it looks. Quite simple. Only two buttons, power button and uh, take picture button. On the side we have the SD card uh, 64 gigabytes it already comes with the dash cam uh, also in this set we have uh, the wiring this is actually the only wire that you will use for the front dash cam we'll show you shortly how it gets connected uh, besides that we have the rear camera as well the rear camera is full HD comes with a mounting bracket and uh, we have the wiring for the uh, rear camera also in the side we have the trim removal tool the manual and uh, we have the uh, SD card USB adapter these are some of the features that this dash cam has uh, Wi-Fi connection, uh, I will show you the app uh, shortly Loop recording, G sensor, super wide angle, perfect fit and uh, high dynamic range uh, Remember when I said that our view of dash cam uh, can slightly see the black box uh, I'll show you the difference now with this one So our new dash cam will be actually installed in place of the view for and you can see how it extends further to the front this will allow the uh, front uh, Fitcam X dash cam to uh, eliminate the problem that we had with the VOFO so first we will remove our VOFO here it is As you can see, the Fitcam X uh, housing is uh, completely interchangeable with the OEM uh, bracket and uh, you can see the clips here are exactly the same. This allows you to seamlessly uh, install this camera in your Volvo. As for the wires that come out of the Fitcam X, uh, this one is the uh, power wire which will get connected to that uh, T-splitter that we showed you before and this one will be uh, the power for the rear camera Right now I'll show you the connector that will be disconnected uh, for us to be able to connect the power to the dash cam this uh, green one right here the space inside this black box is limited. Uh, we'll try to show you approximately how the connector gets removed uh, this way. As you can see, uh, you have to press over here and then pull it down. But as I said, because the space is limited, it may be tricky. That's why we'll have to use a small screwdriver and uh, try to do it this way. First you have to press with the screwdriver and then you'll be uh, able to remove the connector.
and this is our original connector somewhere inside here it is so one end of the T-splitter gets connected to the original connector and the other green connector gets connected uh, into the original uh, slot Right now we will connect the uh, cable for the front uh, dash cam And now we can uh, hide the wiring inside and install our new dash cam Here it is. Right here you can see the uh, rear uh, camera cable. We hid it inside this black box and this is the end that you see. Uh, today we will do the temporary installation of the rear camera just to show you how it records uh, the video together with the front one. But the actual installation uh, of the rear camera will do as a separate video. The dashcam comes with its own application, it's called Feedcam X. So you can download it on the Play Store or App Store. You will see Wi Fi networks, it's gonna be this one, oh, sorry, car, CX, etc. Press that. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press connect. Go back and uh, shortly we'll be able to establish the connection. Press connect. And uh, here we'll actually see our both cameras because we already connected, as I said, rear camera. Uh, if you flip the screen, it will give you the full screen view. So this is the front camera and this is the rear camera. And you can switch uh, between them, like this. This is the front view and the rear view. Um, I'll quickly show you guys what else we have here. We have camera settings, uh, sound recording, I will turn it on. Uh, what else? Resolution is uh, 2K, as I said, 2560 by 1440 pixels. And this is the only option that it has, uh, loop record options, uh, one minute only. Exposure cons compensation, WDR, uh, video watermark, you can turn that off. Uh, collision sensing, uh, set to low, uh, parking monitor motion uh, detection, it's off. Uh, this dash cam uh, doesn't have uh, the parking mode because it's connected uh, to the OEM connector. If you want the parking mode to be enabled, you will have to, I believe, get a hardwiring cable and uh, install that. Uh, you can format SD card from here, 64 gigs, and you can reset the camera. And from here you can uh, view all the recorded uh, videos that you have. And you can also download them uh, to your phone. One more thing that we want to point out is that uh, if you want to remove the SD card from the uh, dash cam, uh, you need to be aware that you need to turn it off first because uh, the way it's connected it continuously gets uh, the power from the vehicle. So in order to turn it off uh, what you need to do is you have to, you can see the uh, uh, red and blue indicator lights, so this means the camera is working. 
So to turn it off, you have to press the power button, press and hold for a couple of seconds and then release, like this. One, two, release and shortly you'll see that uh, the dash cam will turn off. You can see that the lights disappeared. This means now we can safely remove the SD card. Because if you do it otherwise, uh, you are risking of damaging the data that uh, the dashcam is currently recording. Um, to insert it, you have to follow the same procedure. So let's say uh, right now uh, to turn it on, just simply press once. I did press it, I believe. Yes, we can see the indicator lights again. So now, uh, as I said, each time you enter into the vehicle, the dash cam gets the power immediately. So before you put it back in, you have to follow the same procedure. You have to turn it off. One, two, release. Now it's off and now you can put the SD card back in. After you did that, simply press the power button once and you will see the indicator lights again. The installation of the front camera is complete. I'll show you guys one more time how it looks. Uh, as you can see it is centered in the vehicle and this is how it looks like from the front. I think it's a great idea to have this camera installed this way. Right now we'll go for a short drive and we'll show you how it records the video.